Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and or my kids' favorite stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you the story of Hare, Hippo, and Elephant. Hare was a lazy thing, and when he got married, he settled down. He couldn't be bothered to get down to hard work. Go out and work in the fields so he could feed his family and himself? Not on your life. Then one day, he had an idea. He took a long rope and went into the forest to find Hippo. Hippo, will you listen to me a moment? Why don't we have a game here? I tie this rope to you and we'll see if I can pull you out of the mud. Right, said Hippo. Sounds like a great game to me, one I can't lose. Good, said Hare. So I'll go off among the trees over there. The moment you feel a tug on the rope, you pull like mad, okay? But I'm warning you, I'm pretty strong. Hippo laughed. Yes, of course you are, Hare. Hare tied the rope around Hippo and then went off among the trees and waited. It wasn't long before Elephant came down to the water hole. Hare stopped him. Elephant, have you got a moment? I'm looking for someone who wants a tug of war. Everyone I challenge, I beat. What do you say? Out of my way. I haven't gotten time to play silly games. No, listen, Elephant. I tell you what. If you win, I'll do anything you want. I'll be your servant. I'll fetch and carry anything. Elephant liked the sound of that very much indeed. So he let Hare tie the rope around him and off went Hare telling Elephant to start pulling when he felt a tug on the rope. Halfway along the rope, where neither Hippo nor Elephant could see him, Hare gave a tug on the rope, first one way and then the other. At once, Elephant and Hippo started heaving on the rope. They heaved and they pulled for hours. The sun went down and they heaved all night. The sun came up again and still they heaved until they could heave no more and fell down exhausted. They rested, and when they staggered to their feet, both animals wondered just how Hare had managed it and started walking toward each other. When they met, they untied the rope from each other's waist. Next time we see Hare, let's kill him, they said. 
The next day, Hare went out and was rather pleased to see that the ground was all churned up. Just ready to plant my seeds in, he thought. And just think, I didn't even have to do any heavy digging. Won't my wife be pleased with me? The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story of Hare, Hippo, and Elephant. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite stories. See you soon!